Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is going to be a little bit of a political read for the United States, and uh, we'll talk about the grand old party, the Republicans, and see if they can get back to being something of a recognizable political party again. And that's what the part reading will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So here we go. This is going to be just, um, let's find out what's going on with the Republican Party. Are they going to come back and be something that can be respected again? Or is, the, I mean, it has, something like that has to happen, doesn't it? Uh, it can't go on forever the way it is, or, or uh, we have to come up with another uh, foe for the Democrats. Because this uh, Repu Republican Party that we have uh, doesn't make sense. Um, so um, that's the main thing I want to know is uh, can this Republican Party survive? Is it going to get reinvented? Um, who are the leaders going to be? But before I do talk about any of that, I have just a moment of meditation. So for a question like that, I mean, it has to be minimum a full uh, Celtic cross. Um, I think, though, to get warmed up, I'm going to do one three-card draw for Democrats, one three-card draw for Republicans um, all together here. So three cards for the Democrats, one, two, and I want to know if that Democrat party is going to survive. And then three cards for the Republicans, one, two, just to know are they going to make it first card for the Democrats so King of Pentacles, a lot of value ton of value here Republicans, King of Swords so truth, justice, rules of law hmm. that's what they think they're dealing with Okay, Democrats, judgment um, I I I, I, I'm feeling bad about that judgment. You know, you can take judgment either way, good or bad. I'm feeling not good about that judgment. Um, this is the Six of Cups, and yeah, for the Republicans, it's remembering the way we were. We had a better time. It's a compassionate situation. The Democrats, the Knight of Cups, so fighting for that emotion. And the Republicans, uh, the Queen of Wands, uh, some plans uh, to get out of there, but you've got a, an opposed King and a Queen here and people worried about how things were in the past. So I think you have a party that's got something to work with here. They don't have a focus yet. And here, I think you've got uh, some folks who have uh, got lots of value. They, maybe they should be worried about judgment, and uh, but they still come in with a fighter for their compassion. So the two parties seem they've got bones, okay? They've got some structure. There's something there. As damaged as the Republican Party seems to be to some of us, um, maybe it's not all that damaged and maybe we don't know really what the state of the Democratic Party is really. Perhaps. I don't know. But uh, so will this Republican Party survive um, and just somehow continue on and will just still be the Republican Party? Or something new going to have to happen. So I want to do a full felt across for the Republican Party. So that's uh, 10 cards, but I'm going to do 6 and then another 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Will this Republican Party survive? Does it have to maybe just go away and something else has to happen? Signifier card. The lovers. Okay, so there's something. There's a there's a bud of interest there. There's something there to work with. The lovers card is a signifier for that. Question. The challenge to it is truth, justice, rules, and law. So those swords really warning you: be very careful. You can get hurt if you if you rise too quickly. Um, you might need to go into that coffin. 
there's something there, but caution is required. The basis of this whole, whole thing is the high priestess. Now, the high priestess gives us um, the uh, gives us lets us decide: can we use our intuition uh, to help interpret what's going on here? She's got the book of knowledge right here. She's between strength and um, the high priestess is the basis of all of this. So we're talking about the Republican Party. Is there something to go on with? And we're saying, yeah, there's 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 a foundation there to work from. In the past, this is the magician. Okay, so that was having all the tools available to them, uh, but that's in the past. They're limited now. In the sky, this reading is the moon. So the secrets being revealed. So that's uh, what's in the sky. That's uh, what we can hope for is more secrets, and that would only be good. It'll be cleansing, really. And then the likely outcome for the first part of this is. This uh, uh, five of wands, wands action plans, forward movement. And the five of wands is pointless kind of arguing. So we do need four more cards to kind of flesh this out as to for what's going to happen with the public party. But it looks like it's repairable. It looks like there's something there to work with. It looks like uh, you don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. The very signifier of that question about the Republican Party is, yeah, knowing how to doyle out the value. Uh, this is pentacles, six of pentacles. This is someone deciding you get this much, you get this much. So this is getting uh, what's left uh, par par parceled out appropriately. And then the environment that that's in is moving themselves out of troubled water. The hopes and the fears for that is, yeah, have we done enough? And the final uh, outcome for that Republican Party is, yeah, finding a balance again. So it looks like yeah, it's reparable. There's something that can be done, and uh, and they're going to be able to do that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic uh, Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person, Wise, has had their input into it. And uh, th what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box... I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And, you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks. It's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about Arthur Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith, who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, uh, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now, the cards themselves, they got a cool back. They're kind of shiny. And um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems and so in that they're close up but they're still vibrant with color and I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck.